How's it going everyone? My name is Mulder and welcome back to the GameCron. Today we're looking at Outriders Pyromancer Ashbreaker build. I'll be going over my character's build here along with the fact of reaching tier 15 and the fact of why this character is such a great support class build. We'll be going over the skill tree, what type of mods I'm running, along with the weapons and gear, and what type of attributes you should be equipping to this character. All that and more straight ahead. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. Let's kick things off by looking at the skill tree for the Ashbreaker. The first thing you're going to unlock for this build is the Inferno Weapon, which increases your weapon's damage by 8%. Marble Orchard, which reduces the immobilized skill's cooldown by 15%. Mark of the Anomaly, which increases your weapon damage by 10% against marked enemies, Assault Master which increases your assault weapon damage by 20% and increases your assault weapon drop chance by also 20%, Blood Boil which increases your armor piercing by 10%, Hot Situation which activating your immobilized skills increases your anomaly power by 45%, Mark of the Anomaly which increases your weapon damage by 10% against marked enemies, Incinerate which when the moment burn ends on an enemy inflict ash status, Curse of the Pompeii which ash inflicted enemies lasts for 15% longer, Mark of the Anomaly, which increases your weapon damage by 10% against marked targets, Sniper Master, which increases your sniper damage by 20%, and increases the chance of a sniper rifle dropping by 20%, Blood Boil, which increases your armor piercing by 10%, Mark of the Anomaly once again, which increases your weapon damage by 10% against marked enemies, Ashes to Ashes, which every time an ash is inflicted on an enemy, vulnerability status is inflicted as well, Moss to the Flame, which increases your weapon leech by 5%, Leeching Force, when activating immobilized skills, doubles the weapon leech for 4 seconds, Nimble as a Flame which decreases your reload time by 20%, Hurt twice as long which increases your damage against elites by 10% and elites deal 10% less damage to you, Trial of the Ashes which enemies inflicted with ash receive 15% more damage, and then finally Burning Situation which activating immobilized skills increases your weapon damage by 45%. So as you can tell by this skill tree this focuses heavily on support class weaponry such as long range sniper rifles and assault rifles, but now let's talk about the skills that go well with this build. Number 1 is Feed the Flames where you can leech off health from another enemy while also doing damage to them at the same time. Number 2 is the Phaser Beam which allows you to shoot a beam of fire towards an enemy doing a massive amount of damage. It will also inflict burn on them and later on ash status, thanks to the incinerate skill. And then finally is Ash Blast which sends out a shockwave to where any enemies that are caught within this blast get ash status automatically, allowing you and your team to finish off these enemies quickly for about 5 to 7 seconds. This is a great ability to use especially when you're doing expeditions. Now let's look at my character's current stats. Now I decided to switch my armor around and focus more on long range damage and weapon damage overall. By doing so, my anomaly power did take a hit compared to my other builds. For right now, my anomaly power stands at 27.1k, but thanks to this new change, my firepower has doubled to 39.3k, health is at 7,946, and my armor is at 44.7k. Now the type of attributes that you want to look for in your armor when building this particular build is long range damage, status power, bonus firepower, cooldown reduction, and max health health. Now the chances of you getting most of these in even just a single armor piece is very rare. I mention these because keep your eyes open for these particular ones when you're trying to focus on making this build. I would definitely say that long range damage and bonus firepower along with cooldown reduction is a must for this build. And then finally the type of weapons I'm currently running with this build is the Voodoo Matchmaker which is 26.2k, the Daimyo which is 28.8k, and the Disintegrator at 20.5k. Now let's talk about the mods. To start things off look out for Wide Grip which feed the flames drains more targets, Empowerment which Ash Blast deals 8,567 more damage. Ash Cleaner, which critical shots apply extra 5,144 damage to enemies hit with Ash. This one right here is a must, especially when you're doing higher level tiers and doing expeditions. Pure Power, which phaser beam damage increases to 8,567. And then Bullet Kindling, which deal 20% more damage to burned enemies. Another great thing to add to any of your weapons is Bone Shrapnel. The way Bone Shrapnel works is that every time you shoot and destroy an enemy when their body explodes, they shoot bone shrapnel everywhere. You can take out multiple enemies at once with this other mod, so keep an eye out for that one too for your weapons. Now I will have to say that the way this build is structured before before the patch came in recently is that this was a great build to run solo. Now as I mentioned before this is a great support class character build. Before the patch came out you could actually run this build solo for most of the expeditions. It is also a really good build to use especially when you're around tier 14 to tier 15. However because of the new patch the ash capabilities and damage definitely took a hit. However running with a team this build comes in clutch. Thanks to the ash blast you can freeze enemies to where it allows your team and you to take out multiple enemies at once especially when you're against the clock in expedition. 
Your high armor status allows you to go into combat and take a multiple of hits, either trying to save an ally or get out of dodge when you're surrounded. And just the overall level of firepower allows you to melt enemies at a distance. Overall, out of the builds I've made for this game so far in my past videos, which feel free to check those out, especially if you're a fan of frontline assault, check out the Tempest build. This one is definitely heavy support ever since the new patch came out, but definitely feel free to experiment. And I'm curious, what are you currently running for your Pyromancer build? Be it when you're trying to make your way to tier 15 or during the expeditions. Drop a comment below. And that's it for our Outriders Pyromancer Ashbreaker build. I'll be dropping more content on Outriders, including more builds that focuses on the expedition very soon. But definitely drop a comment below of what character classes you'd like to see me go after next to make new build videos, be it the Technomancer, the Trickster, or the Devastator. I also have more content planned for more RPGs that are coming out later this year. I'll also be starting to live stream early this coming week, so be sure to stick around. But until the next video or live stream, my name is Mulder, and I'll see you next time in the Game Cron.